Hey everybody, welcome to another Female Filmmaker Friday. Today I'm going to be answering the very exciting question that nobody asked, would I get naked for a role? First things first, as always, I want to say a big thank you to my patrons at patreon.com slash katehackett. My supporters there make videos like this one and the narrative shorts that I get to film possible. If you want to join and see behind the scenes footage, bloopers, beta testing, or get the very cool, very awesome, very limited time perk uh, stickers and a welcome kit, visit patreon.com slash katehackett. Today we're talking about something that is incredibly personal to actors, and that is how far outside of your comfort zone would you go for a job? And yes, I totally clickbaited this title and said, would you get naked for a role? And the short answer to that, if you're here for that particular answer, is yes. But it's a lot more nuanced than that, and I hope you stick around to hear why. Uh, my answer to this question is not going to be every actor's answer, and that's my little caveat before we kind of dive in. So the single most important answer to this question is about safety. Are you safe emotionally and physically if you take this job? And if the answer is ever no, my follow-up is not necessarily to just immediately walk, but you have to ask yourself, can I get to a safe place? So for example, if you have an emotional trauma and the character that you are playing has a similar emotional trauma, is there a way that you can get that to be cathartic for you? Is there a way where you can make the experience of going through playing this person positive? Uh, similarly, if you're ever in a physical situation that you feel unsafe in, is there a way you could go to the director or the producers and say, hey, this doesn't feel safe, can we make it safe? If the answer is yes, then great. You should definitely challenge yourself and take those jobs. If the answer is no, that's, I think, the line. Going beyond your comfort zone is a good thing. You, as an artist and as a person, should never settle. But being unsafe is obviously not a good thing, and you have to learn to tell the difference. Do you just feel afraid to do something that is hard or scary? Or are you actually in some kind of danger? So for me, being asked to undress isn't necessarily unsafe. So we're looping back to this clickbait title, I promised. In fact, I think it's kind of liberating. I don't get asked to do it, obviously. <laughs> so it's a chance for me to do something very different. I'm also honestly a little bit afraid of it, and I don't like being afraid of things that can't actually really hurt me. So it's a side that I want to embrace. I think taking risks is an important thing for an artist to do, and I don't like feeling like I have stumbling blocks, so pushing through those is really important for me. And that kind of risk for me is okay. This is not true for everybody, and it certainly wouldn't be true for every job. So the short answer to this question is yes, I would do things that are risque or explicit for the right kind of job, uh, for career moving independent films or a Showtime HBO kind of thing, absolutely that's something I would consider doing. But that's just me. Uh, as long as I felt it was a professional safe environment, I'm okay with that kind of stuff. But I also really like to challenge myself. I know that this is a stumbling block, I know that this is a hard thing for me, so I make sure that I'm ready for it. I wrote a love scene for The Long Dig that involved being in bed post-sex with a guy. Uh, it's very weird to write and perform those things because you feel kind of like, is this cool? I'm writing this for you and me and okay, it's weird. But the movie needed that moment and it was a chance for me to open myself up in a very different way. I don't play a lot of bedroom scenes and that was one for me to do. I don't shy away from stuff even if it makes me nervous. Part of the reason that I did some of those sexier photo shoots last year was because I get stuck in a cute girl next door role a lot and I wanted to just try something different and it was great. It was really fun and liberating and weird and I had to get over a lot of like, I like standing like an idiot. Um, poses, <laughs> but I clicked into something that I don't do a lot of because I'm very goofy in real life and it was really fun. So the long and the short of it is, if I'm in an environment where I feel safe, 
I'm happy to explore these boundary pushing roles, things like drug use. I played drug users. I like playing people that are so different from myself and going to extremes and seeing how different I can really be. I think that's part of what makes acting such a joy. So the answer to this question, how far would I go? Absolutely as far as the bounds of physical and mental safety would let me. So Lothar and I want to say a special thank you to Ed Powell, who is one of my patrons at patreon.com slash Kate Hackett. He helped make this video and other videos like it possible if you want to too visit patreon.com slash Kate Hackett.